All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of Snoopy B.A. Talking about Crip Mac and the baby mom. And somehow the babies that he had with her are not his blood test. No more child support. Now look, for those that are new here, just know we got about a three-minute intro. So go ahead and forward it three minutes if you don't want to see the intro. The intro is usually updates of what we have going on for the day, for the week, for the month. You know, so some people want to know the updates, right? So check this out. Before we get into this video, to those that are new to the hater world, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video. Most importantly, leave a comment down below. You know, let me know if you like what I'm doing or whether you don't. I do reply to everybody that I can. I do like uh, whoever I can, right? Uh, but, you know, sometimes it'd be too many. But I like to argue. I like to argue. So if you go in there and, and, and say some things I don't agree with, I will talk back right um other than that we gonna have a uh, compa raider in the building today 7 p.m on the haters only podcast those that know know it'll be on this channel those that don't know uh it'll be on this channel right haters only podcast look for the tab where it says uh podcast and you'll see haters only you'll see a playlist it'll be there if not it'll be on the main page 7 p.m he gonna pull up uh, and we're going to do a podcast, all right? Those that don't know who he is, he is the CEO of Trash Bag Boys. You know, Trash Bag Boys is a big imprint in the cannabis business, so go look it up. Also, I just dropped a video yesterday. It is titled, uh, Timothy McGee from Toonerville. It's over on Blue Devil Reactions, uh, it's on, and, and for some reason, people are eating me up over there because I said the hood was from West L.A. and it's actually Northeast. I don't know why, what I was thinking that I said West L.A. Uh, and you can already imagine all the super hardcore uh, cholos are in the comments correcting me as if they're an encyclopedia, as if people don't make mistakes. It was just one of those little quick slip-ups. But go over there on Blue Devil Reactions and check that out. Now, also, look. Right now on the news everywhere is Lady Pinks versus Jenny Six Nine, and look, I'm not even gonna cover that. I did, I did a live reaction that took off, and everybody clipped my stuff and ran with it, whatever, right? But I'm not gonna do a reaction to it because I'll tell you like this, and I've said it before, and I say it again: the fake follow the fake, okay? And it's too many fake people out there to go against, so I'm just not gonna even talk about it. All right, if you get my drift, you get my drift. A lot of people won't understand streets. They won't understand the business. They don't understand none of that. They think that because they think one way, everybody needs to think that way, and it doesn't work that way, you know. And uh, people can be like, oh, well, this person's not a gangster. This Listen, just tell me in the comments what the word buchona means. And if you tell me what that word means, I'll pin your comment so everybody can read it, okay? And you tell me if that's not some type of street activity, all right? But other than that, uh, go follow the team on Hater World Media on Instagram, Hater World Media. They're going up. Uh, the family over there doing good things, big things. So with no more to be said, let's watch this video. Snoopy B.A. on Crip Mac getting with his former baby mama and finding out all three kids aren't his. So with no further ado, let's get you guys a self sided reaction. Let's go. You know, Crip Mac. One of my regular guests, you know, I have on her quite a bit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys had some issues. Uh, I guess he was being with uh, your baby's mom. It's not my baby mama no more. Well, not no more. She's not my baby mama. We got a blood test. Okay. All three of the kids is in mine. Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> All three? All three wasn't mine because what happened was, like, when she used to get pregnant, she used to run off. You feel what I'm saying? She used to run the f off. And, and I used to wonder, like, why she always run off and come back? You know what I'm saying? Then when she had the kids, she barely used to let me see them. So, you know, then we got the blood test because it was just too much going on. You feel me? She trying to come for child support and all that shit. So I was like, F it, my nigga. I, went, I took the blood test and shit and child support gone. I don't have to pay shit. And How do you have three kids with a girl and every time she pregnant, she runs off and you allow it? And you continue to have kids with this woman. Now, of course, he just said they're not his kids. But at that point, you thought they were. So at that point, you're simping. You're allowing her to run off for days on end to do who knows what with who knows who. 
and you're allowing her to come back and giving her more children. You know, not only is she a hood rat, but this fool a simp. Now, he said he, he took a blood test, salute, right, for doing your your duties, and supposedly that's not his kids. Dope, right? All right. But he said child support gone. I'm not going to lie to you. For those that know, let me know down below. But I don't think child support leaves that quick. I think it turns into a big investigation. I think you got to provide all kinds of paperwork. I think it takes months. I don't think that you provide a blood test and boom, it's gone. Nah, bro. Uh, not even then. I know people that provide drug, a blood test and they still on child support. So that's hard to believe. I could be wrong. So somebody that actually is knowledgeable in this, let me know down below in the comments. But I really think that it takes months. You know, but also another big factor, a question that I got for you guys. How would you feel raising three kids, right? And then finding out they're not yours. Would you still love these kids? Or is it F them kids? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's go. And nigga, they, they're not, they ain't even my kids. So niggas done did all that shit trying to fuck a bitch. Think if she my baby mama and she ain't even my baby mama. Y'all just... The random bitch that I used to f on, so shit, you feel me? But but plus, I, and plus, I think I think she happy about it. She probably she should be happy happy to the fact that I'm not her kids, that I'm not her kids' father, based on the fact that she talked about me bad in the media. You know what I'm saying? She talked about me bad. She said horrible things about me. She made it seem like she's just so mad that I'm her kids' father. So now you know she she got the blessing to be released. Facts. You know what I'm saying? God blessed us with the kids not being mine, and now she can go on with her life, and they ain't even got to mention me no more, and I don't have to mention her. You feel me? So I'm not going to lie. I could give Snoopy props right here. You know, I know I dragged this guy a lot for his gang ties, right? But as far as, like, what he's saying right now is facts. You really didn't want me in your life. Now you got to deal with that. I'm not going to be in your life. Don't call me. I ain't got no money for you. You know, I don't know you no more. You're just some random girl that I was with for three, four years. And now you on your own. So respect to Snoopy for that. So how to go bad between you, you and Crip Mac? Because um, when he started with her, she had him say something to me and I responded to it. You feel me? Like when they first started around, I didn't even care because I wasn't even with her when they started around. We wasn't even together. You know what I'm saying? So when they start around, I guess that's how she got the nigga. I'm still be badass baby mama or whatever. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But um you feel me? You know, she uh she had him say something disrespectful to me, you know, and I said something back to his bitch ass. And ever since then, nigga, we been at odds. Were you surprised? That All over a female. Once again, to everybody watching, don't let these females pump you up into doing something. Come on, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie, bro. One time I was with this hyena, right? And she calls me up. Hey, I'm up here at my cousin's house. And her boyfriend pulled up all mad and wild. He won't let us leave. You know, he's outside yelling. He, I want to leave and he won't, let, he won't let us leave. Please come up here and help us. Hell nah. First of all, I'm going to tell you like this. that do, That's not even your cousin. You're trying to play me that that's your cousin. That's not your cousin. You were up there chilling with some dudes. And you probably didn't want to give it up. You know, you out, you're up there partying. You want me to be Captain Save What? My, listen, save yourself. Save yourself. I'm about to go put myself in the predicament and go up there, you know, uh, for some girl I've been with for like three months. You tripping, tripping. You know, yeah, I like the female, right? But I wasn't about to do that for, listen, my boy, I'm only going to go guns blazing when it's for my family or it's a real life and death situation, right? Other than that, I'll do what I have to do, but I'm not going to put my life at risk or in danger for a bunch of nothing, you know. So it is what it is. Say what you want, but I ain't gonna do nothing for a female, bro. I'm, listen, I go up there guns blazing. I get locked up, and guess what? That female boning somebody else the next day. You tripping, homie? Let's go. Now, if it was my wife, she wouldn't even be up there to begin with. I right, let's go. Rip Mag and your baby mom hooked. That was kind of like um. A, that's not my baby. But well, 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 well my ex point, yeah, yeah, um, your baby's mom. Um. No, no, because I know how she is. You feel me? She she would go through desperate measures to hurt somebody, or if she feel like if she feel like it's an opportunity, 
Like, like she felt like she was killing two birds with one stone with that. She thought she Facts. was going to hurt me and get an opportunity to beat me far as in this, this industry shit, but really it just backfired. So it didn't surprise me. I, like, I was already waiting for her to do some weird shit. I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know when. You know what I'm saying? So when it happened, you feel me? It was like, okay, this is it right here. You feel me? You know, and at the time when I was thinking the kids was mine, of course I was like, you know, scared for the kids or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But something was telling me, go get a, go get a, go get a uh, blood test. Cause it's this trick that should be around that, that I used to look at the little girl like, man, this nigga, she kind of looked like this nigga, bro. But I kind of like brushed it off or whatever. I think now she wouldn't stoop that low. So after the Crip Mac shit. Wow. Wow. Some dude used to come around his kid look. Listen, when these kids are born, they don't really look like nobody. I'm not going to lie. Like, when these kids are bro born, bro, they really don't look like nobody. It takes, like, probably a couple of months for it, the boy or the little girl to start forming into either looking like the father or like like the mother. But, you know, right when they're born, they don't really look like nobody, you know. Uh, but this one took a, a blood test. Everybody out there that got kids... If you're having second thoughts, go take a blood test. Now, look, I'll tell you like this. If you've already feel something for these kids, if you've already been taking care of these kids, if it's been a couple of years and you're attached to these kids, don't even take a blood test. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Right. Now, if it's been a few months, less than a year, right, you don't have an attachment to these kids, then do it. And if you have like an idea of maybe they're not yours, go do it. But imagine having these kids five years, six years, 10 years, three years, and you have this bond with them that you love them, they're your kids, and you find out they're not, that's going to break you for the rest of your life, homie. So that's really a, that's really a scenario you, you got to really – Talk about with somebody that's very close to you because that could really break you, you know. So do it at a, uh, be very cautious when you do it. She told me my nigga, she a stoop low. So that made me like, man, let me get a blood test, bro. And they, they not even mine, bro. So feel me, it's a blessing in disguise, man. I wish you the best, homie. You feel me? And we ain't even got to do the media thing no more. What'd you think about Crip Mac and Famous Richard's situation where they almost boxed um i'm no jumper i i agree with crit mac in that situation nigga when you come to when you come to la my nigga you gonna respect this my nigga Facts. Man, he's a bitch ass nigga but he that was real nigga you still a custer mark but that was some real shit you know what i'm saying you got to protect the city you got to protect the culture Facts. and and nigga and he, you supposed to protect adam i wouldn't let nobody do nothing to adam if i was right there you know what i'm saying you feel Facts. me you know so i think he did the right thing my nigga like first why is you going to show Disrespecting anyway, you too hype, chill, my nigga. Facts. You know what I'm saying? He was, I just think Famous Richard was too hype, my nigga. I don't know if that's how they do it in the shot, but nigga, LA, like nigga, we more sneakier and discreet out here. Nigga, smile in your face and blow your head off, bro. Facts. So I just think he need to um he need to turn that down when he's stepping up. Feel me? Stepping on the West Coast, my nigga. Facts. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have said it any better. You mentioned you caught some cases. Yeah. So growing up, you know what I'm saying? Like, what was some of the you know cases and stuff that you've been through um man I, I, when i was a minor nigga feel me i got a i've been a juvenile hall for um robbery you know what i'm saying you feel me i've been to juvenile hall a couple of times for burners robberies like i did the whole little juvie thing you know what i'm saying you feel me in and out that mother mama coming to court i got a, I, I actually got a strike on my record nigga because of something i did as a juvie that haunts me to this mother day you feel me so you know nigga was in and look he goes, he goes way off subject. I don't care about his criminal record. Uh, somebody let me know if you could have a strike as a juvenile and carry it on to your adulthood. I've never heard of that. Maybe I'm wrong. I've been to juvenile. I've been to juvenile hall a bunch of times. I've even been to juvenile hall as an adult. You know, uh, I know people are going to not believe me and say all this weird shit. I don't care. I was 18, 19. In juvenile hall, eighteen and nineteen, eighteen for sure, nineteen I I think too, you know. But I was well into my adulthood when I was in juvenile hall. 
Uh, look, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, Copa Raider stops in tonight. I got a couple more videos dropping. Let me know what you'll do in this situation. Take a blood test or just claim the kids regardless. Just because you got an attachment to them. Uh, with all that being said, go over to Hater World Media. Subscribe. Uh, go over to Blue Devil Reactions. Hater World Uncensored. You already know. And with that being said, I'm Blue Devil. This has been a Hater World production. And we out.